Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Sit back and enjoy the review. So Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 was designed for super tasking, so you can multitask and do everything you need productivity wise and creative wise. But also another great feature on this tablet, and there are so many, is the content viewing. It has a great display paired with great audio systems. The Tab S4 was released in August 2018, so just over six months has passed, and I believe it's one of the best options for an Android tablet. The way that Samsung and Android work together, bringing software and hardware together, makes a fantastic device. As you may know on the channel, I also have an iPad Pro, but I've been going to this for the display and for the sound. It's just been really enjoyable and then really enhanced as well. The two really work together. The software and the hardware from Samsung is just enjoyable, making it very easy for productivity and very easy and enjoyable for content viewing. So it comes in two colors. There's black or gray. I've got the black model. Now I want to take you around the device and I want to talk in detail about key aspects. First of all is the display. It's a Super AMOLED display from Samsung which is a WQXGA. It's a capacitive touchscreen that has 16 million colours and it comes alive. The screen size itself is 10.5 inches and that's always corner to corner but I normally use this always in landscape mode so it can be used in portrait as well. The choice is yours. So you can just bring this round into portrait tilt it up and then it becomes into portrait. I think the landscape option is a lot easier to use and this is where you get more enjoyment from your content. With over 16 million colors, your content really comes alive and really enjoyable. The resolution of the display is 1600 by 2560. That'll give you a pixel density of 287. The aspect ratio for this display is 16 by 10. So as you may notice, around the edge, you do have four borders. They are very narrow compared to the first generations and the previous generations, but they are not too in your face and too noticeable. It makes it look really nice. It makes it look professional and a sleek design. When you look at the iPad Pro, they are very similar in size. But with this, it gives a high screen to body ratio of 78.6%, which is really good. You're getting loads of screen and not too much bezels. Of course, in one bezel, you've got built all your sensors and a camera as well. It's an eight megapixel front facing camera for your selfies and enjoy taking selfies in great detail. It has an F1.9 aperture and video recording is available at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Moving around to the rear of our Tab S4. First of all, at the top, you're going to find a single lens camera, which is 13 megapixel and offers autofocus. The aperture on that lens is an f1.9. Underneath, you will see an LED flash. And as always with Samsung, you have great amount of modes on here. You have HDR, panorama, plus many others that I'll show you in the camera application. It has the ability to record video in 4K at 30 frames per second. Looking down the left hand side, you can see it's ultra thinness. And also you can see four gold pins that will connect to the Samsung keyboard, which is sold separately. When I talk about thinness, it's only 7.1 millimeters thick. It has a great weight to it as well. This is 483 grams for the LTE model and 482 grams for the Wi-Fi only model. Turning to the bottom of the Tab S4, first of all, you're gonna notice two antenna bars running parallel. You've got two of your four tuned AKG speakers, and you have a 3.5 headphone jack, so this still retains a headphone jack, which is great to see. And in the middle is a USB-C 3.1 generation one connection port. So this is for syncing and charging your device. When it comes to charging, there is a large 7,300 milliamp hour battery. So it uses fast charging up to 18 watts. Taking a look down the right hand side, first of all, you have your power and you have your volume rockers. Sadly, there's no textual difference between these. In the middle is a microphone. Then coming down is your dual tray for your SIM card and SD card. So this takes a nano size SIM and a micro SD card up to 400 gigabytes. Moving on to power and performance. And for this, a lot of people look at the Geekbench results. So we're going to install this while I'm talking about the power and performance. It's running Android 8.1, but they have guaranteed this device to get Android 9, which is Pi very soon. The chipset is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 10 nanometer chipset. Set. So it's a really good powerhouse built in. As you can see, you can see some of the specs here. But what we're actually going to do is run a CPU benchmark. Inside is an octa-core processor, which means it has eight cores. There's four cores running at 2.35 gigahertz, which is Cairo, and four cores running at 1.9 gigahertz. That's also Cairo. The GPU inside, which is your graphics, is an Adranu 540. There's four gigabytes of RAM and fast charging available, which means a large 7,300 milliamp hour battery 
through will last up to 16 hours of video playback. Also, it's USB-C. It's 3.1 and it's the first generation of USB-C. So as you can see, our results are in for a single core score, we scored 1,849. For a multi-core score, we scored 6,586. So first of all, scrolling down, you can see where it was scored and what it was scored against. Then you can come into single core score. And then up the top here, you've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. You've got the Samsung Galaxy S8. So you can see how well it's actually done. And obviously you come in down here, you've got the Google Pixel and other devices. And then if we go into our multi-core score here, I believe we're at the top. Yes, we are. So we've beaten everything. So it just shows you how much power and performance is actually inside here. So when you look at power and performance, why do you need the power and performance? Now it's to run games such as Mobile Pug G and also Fortnite. They are very user friendly on here and very playable, which is really good. And obviously during my review, you're going to see some gameplay. Also to go along with the power and performance, you need Wi-Fi or LTE. This model is an LTE model, so I can add in a data SIM card. I still have the ability to make phone calls. As you can see, I can make a phone call here if I so wish to, which is a great option. The data SIM goes in here at the side and that is a nano size SIM card and a micro SD card up to 400 gigabytes. When considering to buy the Tab S4, there are two storage options. There's either 64 gigabytes or 256, but with that SD card storage up to 400 gigabytes, you can really expand your storage options. One bonus, as well as buying the Tab S4, you will also receive a free Samsung S Pen. So you get the pen free compared to other manufacturers that make you buy this, which is a really good option. So the S Pen is really enjoyable and it has multiple different functions on the tablet. As you can see when I first use this, there's a little symbol here at the side and it gives you a whole array of different things that you can go through. And there's multiple ones that you can use. The one I actually like is pen up here and this is where you can learn to draw. So you can draw all different things and different actions, which is really good. Like you could draw people, you could draw a penguin. And I showed in my basics video and the S Pen video how this actually works and I went into great detail. You can use the S Pen to then maneuver around your device very quickly and coming over to the far left is Bixby so Bixby is on here and enjoyable Bixby is always improving and always getting better I believe so coming back here and using this S Pen feature on the side and like I said you can make live messages you can create notes you can do screen like shot and then actually write something on it and then send it to someone so one other great feature that I like with the S Pen is when the actual tab is turned on then you press the button and then a live note will come up and you can actually actually start writing a note on here. So hi. So you can actually write notes on here and it's great for shopping, it's great for making notes if you need to make a quick note. You can also press the button there and use that as an eraser. So that is also a great option. You can then save it, send it, whatever you need to do. And if you need to write a shopping list or a to-do list, you can do bullet points. You can move further down if you so wish to. So I could do film in here do edit and of course upload so that's what I need to do with the tab s4 and that will make all of you guys really happy I hope and it's so fun to use and so enjoyable and again with the button you could just erase all of that and actually get on with the show which is a really good option here and I've really enjoyed using the S Pen we can then turn this into portrait look at the camera here and we should be able to get in. There we go, we're back in, and then you can use the S Pen as well. So when you get the case as well, it will magnetically connect to the keyboard case, but at the moment you do have to carry this around separate. It does come with a lid as well, which is really handy. So in the box, you're also gonna receive other tips and the tool to replace these tips when worn out. There is multiple different levels of pressure. They have 4,096 different levels of pressure for this. And it weighs 91 grams. The size is 138 millimeters, so that's in length, and also 9.2 millimeters thick. And the size and diameter of the tip is 0.7, ultra thin there, which is really good. So as I showed you when we looked around the tablet, there are four speakers on here all tuned by AKG so you know you're going to get great sound quality but there's also something else added to this tab and that is a surround sound with Dolby Atmos technology and it's really really good and how amazing it works it's fantastic when viewing content this really pulled me into my content viewing on this device so if you pull down and show all your widgets and all your changeable functions here so you've got Wi-Fi Bluetooth torch everything you need to know inside here that you can change and adjust your mobile data of course brightness if we come 
come across here, you've got something called Dolby Atmos. So this is already turned on. Press and hold, it'll take you into the actual setting options here where you can change and adjust it. So inside here, you've got auto, you've got movie, music, and then voice. So it depends on the choice that you want to have it with, but also it depends on your content having Dolby Atmos as well. And the playback is really fantastic. It's really enjoyable. So I know I've got my microphone on, but I want to show you the actual experience of Dolby Atmos and how it feels. So what we'll do first of all is power the volume all the way up to the top level here. And I'll play the track first of all with Dolby Atmos turned on. And I'm actually gonna use the Dolby one here on YouTube. Then what I'll do is I'll turn it off and hopefully we'll notice a difference. Welcome to Dolby Atmos. Please put on your headphones. It's a new way to experience sound. Unlike stereo, which is limited to two audio channels, Dolby Atmos can manipulate individual sounds in 3D space to position sounds all around you. Sounds can move above you, far away, or right up close. Let's compare. This is stereo. And this is Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos can build worlds of sound to tell any story. It catches all the little details. Puts you in the center of the action. It sounds just like the real world. And transports you to far away lands. Go inside the story with breakthrough sound. Dolby Atmos. Now let's experience the same video, but actually turn the Dolby Atmos off. You should only hear the stereo sound options. So if I go into the settings, like I showed you before, go along here and we'll turn this off. Welcome to Dolby Atmos. Please put on your headphones. It's a new way to experience sound. Unlike stereo, which is limited to two audio channels. Dolby Atmos can manipulate individual sounds in 3D space to position sounds all around you. Sounds can move above you, far away, or right up close. Let's compare. This is stereo. And this is Dolby Atmos. can build worlds of sound to tell any story. It catches all the little details. Puts you in the center of the action. It sounds just like the real world. And transports you to far away lands. story with breakthrough sound. Dolby Atmos. So hopefully you experience the differences there. I want to show you and give you my impressions of it. There is a real difference there. Thanks to all four speakers tuned by AKG, which is Harlem Carmen, they sound absolutely fantastic. And then adding the level of Dolby Atmos as well, it just makes your content just so enjoyable as long as your content offers Dolby Atmos as well. So thanks to the display having a super AMOLED display with a high resolution and the audio, that is why I said at the, right at the beginning, it makes it such an enjoyable tablet to watch content on you're just so pulled in and immersed in your content is absolutely great video playback is in UHD 4k that's at 60 frames per second the downside is that it can only record 4k at 30 frames per second so built into this tablet is the ability to use Samsung DeX for tablet with a separate cable which is sold separately but it does give you the ability to take your productivity even further by connecting it up to a display which is absolutely great so the file systems that you know that comes with Android and you're not locked out, you can really make your productivity work for you no matter what you want to do on a 10.5 inch display or on a 40 plus inch display or 27 inch display. The 
choice is yours and the Samsung DeX is great to have that option. So Samsung also sell a separate keyboard. As I showed you, there is the connection along the bottom of your tablet here, so you can connect it into a keyboard. The Tab S4 also has the ability to actually use a Bluetooth mouse as well. So if you don't want to use your fingers and get all your screen dirty, you don't want to use the S Pen, you've got another input option, and that is to use a mouse as well. Some people prefer to use a mouse to manipulate around their device. Like I discussed earlier, Bixby is inside here. Bixby is a really good feature and it is always growing. It's Samsung's own version of Google Assistant, Siri and Alexa. It's always improving, it's always getting better, it's learning, it's giving you all the latest news stories, connecting up to your Samsung smart home as well. Well. So Bixby is getting there. I think it's an improvement. I've just always preferred Google Assistant. So with Bixby Vision built into this tab, you can use that for shopping. So when you point it at something, it'll try it, identify it and show you where and what the item is so you can go along and buy it. So shopping made easy. Also, it can be used for places. So when you're in a certain location and say you pointed it at Big Ben, you'll get information or the Houses of Parliament that's right next to it as well. It'll give you detailed information from its database about that certain area you are in and also what's around you. Maybe there might be a great restaurant you want to go to or you can read reviews before you go into certain attractions and then finally it gives you the ability to translate text so you may be in a foreign country or you may come to the UK with your tab s4 and you point it at the language and it will translate it into any language that's in its database which is a great option as well as you may know as a Samsung user security is a high priority to Samsung as well it is to most other companies but this device comes with not security built in. You know protection is in there with a great level of protection, no matter what you do with your device. Security is also a highlighting feature when it comes to actually unlocking your tablet. So if I lock mine and then I go to unlock it again, so as you can see at the top there, there's a little flashing face. So what it's actually doing is using the camera and the sensors inbuilt on this bezel here to actually unlock my display for me without touching it, putting in my code, or putting in a pin pattern or password. Security is really good. And it actually goes a step further, offering you iris scanner, a face detection, pin pattern or password, or none at all. I do not recommend using none or swipe to actually unlock your tablet, as just anyone could do it. And it's not really good for security because there is a lot of personal information on our devices currently. Also, Samsung have a great option where you can actually use Intelligent Scan. This is where it combines the iris scanner and the face scanner together to give a deeper level of security. So, as you can tell from my review, I've really enjoyed my time with Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. A couple of little letdowns for me is it's made up of all of glass, which is okay. It looks very fancy. It looks a great design. I do recommend it goes in a case because I don't want to damage it. I don't want to break it. So, please put it in a case. The display is fantastic, the sound is even better. I hope you did get to experience the Dolby Atmos difference and having it just built in is fantastic. AKG, which is owned by Hardem, is a great brand and to have all four speakers tuned by them personally gives you a great sound experience. Content has been enjoyable, productivity has worked very well and the flow of using the Tab S4 has been a real enjoyment to me. I hope the release of Android 9 comes very quickly to this device as I think it will give it an improvement. Also, Bixby is a great option to have here, but also I like the actual live feed from Google. Google Assistant is built in, and of course you can press the button here, Google will come up, and it will answer any of your questions, or you can download a Google dedicated Google Assistant app, which is fine. Productivity is really good as well with the split screen option, and as I showed you there, you can move your app side to side, depending on what you want to see more of, and productivity can flow, and that's what Samsung wants it to be a super multitasking tablet. I think Samsung have done a great job for a great price. So moving on to price, 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi model, it's gonna cost you 549 pounds. A 64 gigabyte LTE model, which I have got, is gonna cost you 649 pounds. So it's just a hundred pound different. If you look at the price of the new iPad Pros, they are pushing the high hundreds, moving into the thousands, which personally is too high. Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 here offers so much for such a little price. So let me know what you think down below. Do you have a Tab S4? Why do you like it? If you're getting one, let me know why. I want to know why. And I really want to connect with you as the audience and grow as a community. So massive thank you to Samsung that sent out the Tab S4. I really enjoyed my review period with it and I'm sad to give it away. It's gonna be a miss for my content viewing and also productivity. Please let me know what you think down below. It's always great to hear from you. Please give the video a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated 
with all my latest videos. From me, Ricky, I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.